Hey, it's Tim, pickup truck plus SUV talk. I just got back from outside from a walk, so sorry if my cheeks are red. It's windy out there, and I got a comment on the channel that says it's from Danny. I'll kind of zoom in for a minute, and let me read it to you. It says, hi, Tim. I drive an older Tundra, and I have questions about the cameras. I have an anxiety when pulling into a parking spot because the truck is so big, so usually I park a bit further, farther where there are more open spots. I can relate to that. My wife's, well, also door dings and dumbasses parking around me. Move away from those guys. Uh, my wife's Ford Explorer lets me view the cameras at low speeds, allows me to see all the lines and surrounding vehicles, which makes pulling up in to any parking spot effortless. I agree. The Ford I had last year, man, that was simple. They had a little button, you, the cameras come up, you can see everything, and then if your wife argued with you about your parking job, you just show her on the screen. See, I moved to the lines, it's awesome. Anyways, uh, does the new Tundra have such features? You know, I've been meaning to do a video on this because I've had the front cameras turn on a few times and people have been asking me about the rear cameras. So let's go outside and let's try it. Okay, unlock the truck and the mirror's open. By the way, which only comes limited and above, apparently SR5, you can get them. But limited and above, you get the power folding mirrors. So let's hop in. Okay. And the sun is gonna be in the absolute wrong place. That's okay, because we're gonna back this truck up. So press my red start button. Uh -huh. Seat moves forward, which is a nice feature. Short guys like me. Okay, it's gonna load up. Now I have a key fob in my pocket, and so I should not go to guest mode, but my luck's been terrible on this lately. Oh, the radio turns on. Okay, nope, still not working. So dismiss, and yay, it left me on the radio. It's been leaving me on the on the navigation a lot, but which I don't need, but the radio. So let me, um, it has a really nice GMC Canyon in front of me. Let's try this. Okay. It's like, check surroundings. Oh, and my seatbelt's not on. But there is the front camera, which I've had turn on. Let's check the views. You can do that view. Oh, these are the rear camera. So these are rear camera views, rear camera view. This is always a weird view, right? <laughs> it's always like, and then there's that view. And then this, the view into the bed. That's nice, right? Um, let's see. That's locked. I don't know why. Auto view. Auto, I don't know. Is that auto turn on? Why is this so hard? Um, all right, there you go. There's a off-roading view, which that's nice, right? So you can see around, you can see rocks you're going to hit. You can see that kind of stuff. So yeah, I kind of think that's uh, that's impressive. And so let's okay. So there, let's turn that off. Let's le let's turn off. Let's turn on auto and see if it does it. So let me back up here. Uh, let me go back. So there we go in reverse. Now somebody asked about the lines. They asked lines move. And oh by the way, this comes up. I'm gonna zoom in as close as I can with the camera. If I don't, it flickers on the screen. Nothing wrong with the screen. It's just the way the capture of the camera is with the way the screen. Uh, does its flashing. I've set it up the best I can, but let me get a little closer. Okay, so I have to get really close to see so it doesn't flash, but you can see that behind me. So somebody asked, they said, does the lane lines move? Well, yeah, there they go. So they move, right? And these other ones move. Okay, so there's, that moves. Okay, now, let me put it in drive. And oh, that pops up. So I want to see what auto does. I want to see if I go in reverse and I do my thing, and so I'm, I'm further away from that canyon, right? And uh, no, it does pull up, so I'll have to check the manual again, or maybe another day, because I'm kind of tired of reading the manual at the moment. Um, but yeah, so that, that has got that mode there. So, all right, let me look up the manual. Hold on, it's over here. Okay, um, apparently I'm out of luck. I'm gonna have to find out. I'll have to get back to you on this one. So, uh, yeah, there's nothing in the manual <clears throat> about cameras. So this is the main manual. And if we flip to the back to the glossary. Oh, there it is. It's called the multi-train monitor. It's not under camera. It's page 360. 
Okay. When the automatic display mode is turned on, the multi-terrain monitor screen is displayed in the following conditions, even if the view hasn't been operated. When the shift lever is shifted from drive to neutral, vehicle speed is reduced 10, approximately 10 mile per hour or less. So when it's selected, it'll pop up. Okay. All right, so there you go. So that's the answer to the question from that manual and that manual. That's what auto does. <laughs> let's, let's go to those features again. So it should turn on, right? I'm doing, well, come on, turn on, turn on. Did I, oh, I turned it up. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> If at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. Okay, we're backing up. All right, so now we have auto on. Oh, it pops on all the time. There we go. Now, I'm a little mystified by this, and this is something that I'm gonna have to keep asking them questions about, but um, why wouldn't you want that on by default? In what scenario would you want to, have to make sure that's off at all times? All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Naturally, I go to get my kid from school, and I learn something new. <laughs> that's how this happens. This is part of owning the truck and driving around every day. Things, well, you learn things. So let me let me back up for a second. So one thing is it's a little bit darker right now. So I can maybe show you that screen more detail. So I come back. So, there we go. All right. Now, as we move forward, I have auto set on, like we talked about. So low speeds, it turns on, right? So nice. But here's a weird, here's a really weird thing. I can press this for camera view button, and I get this really interesting camera view, right? But I don't know if it's really useful. Personally, um, I don't see much there that. I would, I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit so it doesn't flicker in the screen, but I mean, it's it's cool looking and I see me around, but you know, when I do just reverse, let me do this right here. I can see around my vehicle anyways. So the, with the somebody said something about the, well, his comment about the Ford. So Ford had a button that was up here and I pressed that button and it would turn on as it got into a parking spot. So that was nice, right? But I had a but, that button control these cameras, not this camera that now I can't see. I don't know what's weird with that. Let's go for a drive, because I was thinking like, I was thinking, why would you want, well, all right, so why would you not want auto on at all time, right? Makes sense. So as I'm going, I'm at 10, there you go, it turns off. See how it flickers there back? Dismiss this, because it never works again. But, so let's, let me slow down. It goes full black screen. It's not not very smooth. Let me uh, get around this truck, and uh, so I, I will. There we go. So that would drive me. That honestly, that drives me nuts. See that blackness that shows up, and then it flickers. So let me let me do this a little differently. Yeah, yeah, that that would drive me up a wall. Um, but I don't mind it. I like I like that it, it turns on, right? So I'm make if I make a left hand turn here, I can kind of see, you know, where I'm going. I can see the pole. I can see stuff. That's nice. You know, no problem there. I I like that. Um, but yeah, so that flickering back and forth. Um, it's not flickering. It's the screen changes, flips back and forth. It's not fast, and that causes me a little bit of it. it it's not a bad thing either. I would say this differently. It's just annoying a little bit. It just catches my attention a little bit. And so I'm concentrating on driving, concentrating on driving, concentrating on driving. And then, yeah, it, it's, I would say that's downright distracting sometimes um, just because it, when it goes back and forth. So uh, not, a, not a huge fan of that. I do like the camera, but I don't remember other brands like Ford. And you guys will, ch I know you guys are gonna chime in down below in your comments, but is your screen take a little second to change back and forth? Put down below. Because I, I am very legitimately curious now. 
maybe in all the vehicles I drive all the time, I had noticed it like that, but that's pretty profound that it does that. So let me do it one more time and you can see it on the screen. Let me get one more turn. Jeez, it takes forever to get down this road. So, slowing down, screen goes blank, boom, camera comes up, turn, screen goes up blank, camera comes up. Yeah. Not sure I like it by that one. Anyways, uh, I hope that answered your question. I hope you get good information on there. I have a whole series of videos on this um, truck, so make sure you check those out on this channel. And check the video out over here on the, on the channel you can see. It just flickered again. <laughs> That's gonna maybe, I may have to turn that off because it may just drive me up a wall. I don't know. I'm gonna leave it on for a couple days. I wanna see if I get used to it or see if I don't. Because, you know, things with new vehicles, you tend to get used to them. But yeah, anyways, time to go home. I am going to, uh, like I said, I checked the video. I was, videos out website down below as always thanks for watching i'll see you down the road